One of the most recent releases to CloudShare is a full BI and analytics platform, as we see here. This gives you a direct view into tracking and managing your resource usage and can help you monitor activity, usage trends, and growth. It can also help you identify which specific blueprints or environments are your most popular versions. In this view, we're looking at a number of dashboards, all showing activity filtered for a set time period on the right-hand menu. Over the month, we see the CloudShare Demos project accounted for the majority of RAM usage. And we see which blueprints were most heavily used. We can also see a breakdown of which runtime policies and teams accounted for all of that activity. For example, it was the always-on policy, which was the main source of RAM usage. These standard out-of-the-box dashboards don't remain static, though. You can drill into each day and see what caused spikes in activity. In this case, we want to see why October 1st was so busy. Then all of the following dashboards automatically filter for this day. We see the demos project still had the majority of usage, but it was the training blueprint that had the most activity. Again, all other dashboards filter according to this day. To back out of the filter you selected, click Clear Selection in the main dashboard. Next, let's look at customizing a dashboard to meet your needs a little more. One simple edit is to add a visual representation of your contracted daily peak RAM. What we're going to do is edit this specific graph. In the Values section, add any figure you want, because we'll edit this to your account's own setting. Then, we'll configure the value we just added. Click the pencil icon for more advanced options, highlight everything in the Function field, and enter your contracted RAM. In this case, we'll use 220 gigs. Now we'll edit the graph to a simple line chart. And we can see the dashboard starting to look a little more clear. Let's add a little orange flare so we can see the limit. And change the name of the line to Contracted RAM. Now click the dashboard's title to save that setting. So here we see that across the month of October, we were just beneath our expected RAM usage, but had two to three days where we went over. We'll look at configuring more advanced reports in later sessions. All reports can be downloaded for offline viewing from the icons at the top right. Contact your account manager to activate this new feature.